Hey guys, here just to kind of brag. I had a good week um, with getting some things that I've had trouble finding lately. Uh, first you can see I got four 30 round P mags. They're the Gen 2s or Gen M2. They don't have the dust cover, but I don't give a rat's ass about dust cover. Some people think it's a big deal. I, however, do not. Um, I actually scored these from a company here in Iowa. Um, not local, but they're probably an hour drive away. Um, I got them shipped to me, and after shipping, each one cost me about 21 bucks. So, I don't think that's a terrible deal. You can get a 30-round mag for 20 bucks. I don't care if it's steel, if it's a P-Mag, if it's a Tapco. I mean, it's, it's not bad. $20 isn't that bad for for a solid quality mag. Uh, so, scored me four of those. They had more, but I didn't ask, and that's all I could really afford at the time. So, that's what I got. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? I also got, let's see if I can zoom in. Zoom. If you watch my other videos I do some silver videos but I did score two silver um, buffaloes these are golden statements um, gee, how about I do this how about I focus focus yeah I'm terrible at this camera work stuff how about I zoom out there we go so they're kind of a buffalo nickel replica. Indian on one side, buffalo on the other. Golden State Mint. 999 Fine Silver. One ounce rounds. Got me two of them. Which he's had, the, the coin store I go to, he had a bunch of rounds there. But they were all, I don't know, they were tarnished. And they, you know, weren't really, they didn't, they didn't have a mint on them, to be honest. And I don't, I'm not too much of a fan of not having a mint on them. Just because I like to know that the company that's producing them is, you know, they're backing their product by putting their name on it. If a company doesn't put their name on their product, there's a reason for that. <laughs> Either it serves function that they don't put their name on it, or they're scared to put their name on it. Uh, next, I got three boxes of Federal Champion 9mm, which I've been finding 40 halfway decent, 40 cal at Walmart, but 9mm has been a bitch. So, I mean, I've been buying 40 when I get it because I have a Glock 27. Um, and there she is. And I really like it. But I have a Beretta 92FS that I really like, and I've been thinking about getting a, a Glock 26. So, I've been wanting some 9mm so I can go shoot and have fun if I get another Glock. Um, next thing I got was actually a birthday present from my good buddy. He got me a new era Kansas City Rolls hat, but this is one of those custom ones, the You Design It ones. So I'm currently in the uh, the breaking in phase of trying to get the crown down because these things are, you know, they look like a kid in play hat or a kid. Was it play? I don't remember who it was. The dude with the big old flat top and kid and play. I think that was play? Kid. Yeah, I don't fucking know. But yeah, it's my first Royals hat that I've gotten. And the Royals are my favorite team. And they are also, I think right now they're tied for first. But they've also had like 10. It seems like every week they have two postponements to weather and rain or city shutting down. So... Super excited to get this broke in and worn on a daily basis because I love Casey and I love the hat. Now the last thing I got, if you watched any of my other videos, you'll see I got me a new AR-15. Uh, so there's that. Basically it's the exact same DPMS that I had before except for instead of a one piece upper, it's got the flat top with the rail system. So I've already taken off all my accessories from the other one and put them on this guy. And today I'm going to paint the safe and fire switch, I think. I might paint some other stuff on it because it's fun. But model number, I don't know if you can see. 
model A15. So really excited about this. I did take it out to the range and popped a couple rounds off with it. Even though it doesn't have a rear sight, I still did it. And I think I was pretty, pretty dead on missing the target every time. So got to have a rear sight. I'm looking at getting a, a Magpul MBUS and Flat Dark Earth, and then I just opened up a third savings account so I can shuffle some money so I can save up for an EOTech. I've been looking at those online and reading reviews, and you know, if our military can use them for good enough for our military, they're going to be more than adequate for my needs, which is just rain shooting right now. So yeah, like I said, I had a good week. I got all this stuff in the last week. Got that on Saturday. Got these on Tuesday. Silver on Thursday. Ammo on Wednesday. And hat on Wednesday. Or Tuesday. Thursday. I don't know. I got the hat Thursday. So. I've said so and um about a million times in this video. So um. I'm just going to wrap it up. And say I had a good week. And everybody else. I hope you had a good week too. And we'll talk to you later.